Hey guys and welcome to I Am Beautiful Hustler TV and if you are new to my channel just go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your bells. Today I'll be showing you how to create a, a French ponytail, a French bang and a genie ponytail on short hair. So this would be a short hair transformation. Now this is my friend here and she did have a shortcut and she let her hair grow out a little bit and she did want to see if she could get a ponytail. And of course, I'm that friend that always delivers. So I will be showing you how to put do um, short hair in a ponytail. And it is super simple and super easy. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and press her hair out with my flat iron. Uh, she is natural. She did blow it out a little bit, but you just want to get it a little bit straighter. So I'm just going to go ahead and flat iron all of her hair out. And then I'm going to begin to spritz it up in a ponytail using Pump It Up. So now that everything is pressed out, I'm just going to start spritzing and blow drying her hair up. And you want to um, spritz up every piece of her, like you want to spritz up each section of her hair um, in the direction that you want it to fall. So for example, um, you want the back to go straight up, so you would uh, spritz the back going straight up. And if you want the sides to kind of curve a little bit going into the, you know, the back of that hair, you want to spritz it in that direction as well. And as far as the front, you want it to go straight up, so you will spritz it going straight up. Now what I do is after I spritz it, I just go ahead and blow dry that section. And then when it's uh, laid to my satisfaction, then I start to work on a whole new section. So um, you will make, make sure you guys, um, as far as putting the hair in a ponytail, make sure you guys either have those extra, extra, uh, stretchy um, scrunchies or you can use some extra stretchy uh, rubber bands and you just want to make sure that you secure that ponytail very very tight and what I also like to do to um, make sure that the hair is laid after I put that hair in that ponytail I just go back over um, the entire head with the spritz again just to make sure that every little piece is laid to the T, honey. You wanna make sure everything is laid. You wanna make sure there's no flyaways or anything like that. So just go back over your work and blow dry and make sure everything is nice and neat on each side. So now that everything is spritzed up, we move on to the next step. Um, Y'all, my friend here shaped like an onion. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> Little ponytail. <laughs> but all jokes aside, I really do love my friend, y'all. And um, that's why I'm gonna slay her. Um, so yeah, once you secure the hair with that rubber band, I'm just gonna go ahead and um, take a stocking cap because when I do, um, my bangs with her ponytails i don't like to leave our people's real hair and like glue the tracks in between that hair i think that is just so old to me and you know with hair everything changes and gets better so what i'm going to do is take a stocking cap and i'm going to create like build her bang up to the ponytail and what that means is you just basically want to start from the bottom track and you want to just measure and cut a decent width of those tracks and just continue to bond the tracks until you get all the way to the top of that ponytail and what that does is actually creates what they call something like an illusion bang with the ponytail um, some of you probably heard of it some of you probably have not but that's what it's called and as you get um, towards the top your tracks will get a little uh, narrower 
because when you as you go up the tracks do supposed to uh, downsize and width so as you can see the tracks are getting um, shorter and shorter as I get higher and pretty much it will look um, like an illusion once I you know do the wrapping around the hair and everything like that the ponytail hair will cover that very very top track so you want to make sure that you glue all the way up to the top and once you glue to the top just go ahead and blow dry that and you will begin to cut off uh, the extra cap from around um, those tracks so I'm just going to lift it up and snip 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 and I'm going to snip on the side of um, where the hair is underneath the um, cap like underneath the top track as well like underneath the forehead you want to cut the extra cap off and on the other side as well and then I will begin to do her ponytail part So now what I'm going to do is just go ahead and take some um, braiding hair after I lay this last track down and I'm going to braid um, her real hair and the braiding hair together. That way um, I can create a um, steady base and kind of do somewhat of a fantasy uh, ponytail. <clears throat> And this will also be a genie ponytail as well, but the fantasy kind. And what the fantasy ponytail actually means is just um, you take the braiding hair and you just wrap the hair from the bottom of that braid all the way to the top of the braid, which will also create the genie ponytail. And you know, the genie ponytail is a high ponytail anyway. That's supposed to be uh, thinner, it gives off a thinner look and not that thick, bulky look towards the top of the ponytail. And as you can see, the braid is not that thick. And as I wrap it around, it um, it will get fuller still. And it's crazy because um, I only use one pack of 12 inch to achieve this look um, for the ponytail. And I use like a half a pack of eight inch for that bang. So it still came out to be, she thought it wasn't gonna be enough hair. She wasn't really sure, but me the friend that make everything works. Of course, your girl made it work. That's just what I do. So I just wrapped that hair all around um, that braid, going all the way to the top. And, um, you know, then I would just proceed to do the actual finishing touches. Um, but before I even get into completing the ponytail all the way, I will make sure that I do go ahead and cut her bangs. And I did not crop out too much of me cutting the bang because I wanted you guys to get like the full a detailed tutorial on how to do so I know a lot of videos we crop a lot and you guys be wanting more so I'm going to bring you more so that you can learn um, how to do how I do it and another thing when it comes to creating from bang, uh, fringe bangs you know everybody has their own techniques but I'm going to show you how I create mine and this would be like with the choppy bang look and not the straight across look so we will get into that up shortly after I finish wrapping this ponytail all the way around.
so now that everything has been wrapped around we will get into laying this bang here and this is what I meant by illusion ponytail the hair will look like it's um, coming right out of the ponytail but in a cute way and I'm just gonna go in with my razor comb and I like to start from the middle of course and then work my way down on the sides now when I create my fringe bangs what I like to do is of course it's pretty much having the long sides on the uh, Chinese bang but I like to shape mine I don't like to just leave all of the hair long on the side and just only do like the front area I actually like to angle out um, the side as well with the bang like where the long strip is going to lay I like to angle um, the back of it coming down that way it's not too much hair laying down and pretty much that's what I do on both sides so it's just not straight like it actually has some shape to it you guys will see it um, more um, in detail of what I mean once I turn her to the side but as far as bumping uh, the bang you don't want to over bump you just want to lightly tap the ends going under just lightly do not see curl grandma curl miss shirley miss pauline curl this bang like it is very very important on how you curl this bang because it plays a major role in your outcome so just lightly guys lightly tap that bang okay just the ends and it will be able to fall nice soft and natural looking i personally don't like those you know, big bump bangs, it's not for me. Some people do, some people prefer it, but I just like everything to be nice, soft, and natural looking. So, lightly tap, lightly tap. Another thing I forgot to mention, um, the best thing to do when you're cutting bangs, always start longer and then see where the client, if they want it that long, okay, but never cut too short because once you chop that hair off, y'all know it's, it is not coming back. So it's best that you start off longer and then you let them see and if they say, okay, just go just a little shorter around the eye area, then you can make adjustments like I'm doing. So she said, with just a little too much in her eyes um you know she's my friend is a makeup artist as well as a mink tech and um she do like eyebrows and everything so like she got a c2 and you know my friend is getting ready to go on maternity leave soon y'all she is the big preggers congratulations sis. she is bringing a beautiful baby boy into this world now i got another bad nephew in this world but it is fine so Yes, honey, y'all want to go ahead and, um, you know, just shape that bang to their preference, to your preference. And that's pretty much what I meant, as I said, uh, shape it on the sides where everything is not long, it's kind of angled going down. But now it's time to do the wrap around the ponytail to co uh, complete the look. So I'm just going to take a little bit, guys, to uh, be spray and just, you know, wrap it around and blow it dry. Y'all know how this goes the easy part, the simple part. Yes, just wrap that thing around and you want to blow dry it. And then that will pretty much uh, complete the entire look. Um, I am going to show you how it will look without the uh, gold band, uh, not the gold band, but the gold string around it um, towards the end of this video. I did not show it on camera because we totally forgot that we wanted to put it on there. But yeah, so you just want to blow dry that wrap around part all around and then this is the finishing look now her hair is brown so i am going to show you exactly what i use do you see this guys i you asked me a million one times high beam um spray and this is in, actually in dark brown when i'm using brown hair i use the brown one but if i'm using black hair i would definitely use the black spray so this is the brown spray same company but you just want to get it in brown they also have it in burgundy pink blue purple all those other colors that is needed depending on what look you are doing so yes this is pretty much the finishing look i hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial look at me i need to get myself together around here with a stocking cap but this is the finishing look i hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial and like i said i just did add the gold string around it off camera but Thank you guys for always tuning in. See you next time.